installation of the bootstrap equipment, attachment points for the engine, cradle, and transportation stand, and how to monitor loads while lowering the engine. Part 5 Engine Installation To install the engine, you must first align the engine with the strut. Carefully increase the loads on the hoists. And allow the stand to center itself under the strut. Lower the hoists and remove the four pins that attach the cradle to the stand. Lift the aft end first. Again, make sure the loads stay within limits as you raise the engine. And rotate the engine to the correct position after the cradle clears the transportation stand. As you raise the engine, use the wooden lever described earlier to make sure the aft mount platform does not bind on the strut shear pins. Use only new mounting bolts or bolts that you have examined. The nuts are held in place by nut retainers. First tighten all bolts to half the specified torque, then tighten each bolt to the final torque. Remove the cradle from the engine. Then remove the cradle to engine attach fittings.
reattach the cradle to the stand. Finally, remove the hoists and the bootstrap equipment. This ends part five. When installing the GE90, remember, set the airplane pitch and roll to the specified values. Align the engine under the strut by increasing the load on the hoists and letting the engine center itself. Make sure all dynamometer loads stay within limits. Lift the aft end of the engine first. Roll the engine to the correct position. Use a wooden lever to make sure the aft mounting platform connects properly to the strut. Use only new or inspected bolts. And torque all bolts to half torque first, then go back and tighten each bolt to the final torque. This ends our program, Boeing 777 GE90 engine change training information points. We have seen special equipment needed, safety concerns, airplane preparation, engine preparation and removal, and engine installation. As a final reminder, before returning the airplane to service, reconnect all connectors Install access panels and fairings. Activate all systems. And do all necessary tests.